Hey everybody, my name is Spencer, and in this video I'm going to review the board game A Gentle Rain, designed by Kevin Wilson and published by Mondo Games, who did send me a copy of the game for the purposes of this review. I'll tell you a little bit about the game, who I think it's a good fit for, and ultimately, if you should buy it. A Gentle Rain is what happens to me when viewers say mean things about my videos. Not a full-out wail, just enough of a cry to show that even though I may not act like it, words do matter to me. A Gentle Rain is also a tiny tile-laying puzzle game that can be played solo or cooperatively. However, just like an entire tube of cookie dough, it's most enjoyable when you are alone. This game is marketed to be a relaxing experience. In fact, the very first words you see when you open the box are, Take a deep breath and relax. I must admit, I was intrigued and already felt refreshed by the time I got to reading the rules. I was not prepared to become even more relaxed, which is actually a requirement of playing the game. I'm not joking, the rules tell you to get comfortable by turning on soft music, making tea, stretching, rolling your shoulders, and doing breathing exercises. They even go so far as to suggest that you get into loose-fitting clothing. So, hold on, please pardon my costume and set change. Ah, <sighs> that's better. In a gentle rain, you've come to the lake. There you are hoping to see a beautiful sight, the rare blooms of the lily blossoms. But as we all know, peace is never permanent, so you'll need to experience the treasure before the rain turns from gentle to nothing. Yeah, the blossoms close up when the rain stops. This is the easiest game to explain. I can tell you how to play in one sentence. Draw a tile, place it on the table where it would complete a flower, and keep repeating this until you're able to complete a square four, which makes an opening for you to put a blossom token in that matches one of the four completed flowers in that square, and you continue this process until you're able to place all eight blossoms tokens or you run out of tiles. That's it! Your score is based on the number of tiles remaining when you place the eighth token, or the number of tiles placed if you haven't placed all eight before the stack of tiles runs out. So, it's easy to learn, easy to teach, easy to play. It fascinates me that this game is from Kevin Wilson, the co-designer behind Arkham Horror 2nd Edition, designer of Descent, Journeys in the Dark, Batman the Animated Series Adventures, and Escape from 100 Million BC. You've got these sprawling, thematic, and intense adventure games, and then you have A Gentle Rain. I love it when designers are so versatile. So, therefore, I love you, Kevin. One thing that A Gentle Rain and Arkham Horror have in common is that it's hard for me to do well. I tell you what, I am so inconsistent when I played this game, which I've done at least 15 times now. I've done pretty well once or twice, but I usually am not able to place all eight blossom tokens. I guess that makes me consistently terrible. What makes the game challenging is the randomness. The tiles are shuffled and placed in a stack, so there's no information there to use to help inform your decisions. Since your only action is drawing and placing a tile, you also don't have any way to really control what's happening. All you can do is place a tile where it matches and try to plan ahead. In all of my plays, really the only strategic moves I've discovered are to leave a lot of options for the matches you need. It's really easy to get yourself into a corner where the chances of drawing the right tile are next to zero. You also know that there will never be two of the same flower on a tile, so that's somewhat helpful. Otherwise, it seems to come down to what you draw and when you draw it. Sounds like it could get frustrating, doesn't it? Well, that depends on your approach to the game. If you're ignoring the setup rules and not relaxing, I imagine you could get pretty upset at how your game plays out. So it's your approach that sets the stage. This is a game, activity, whatever, whose purpose is to just give your brain something light to do when you really need a break from, well, anything. In my case, it's angry YouTube viewers. Don't be so focused on getting a perfect score. Instead, it's the journey that matters, not the destination. That's a quote from the rulebook, by the way. When I first played A Gentle Rain, I was frustrated. I think my exact words were, you can't strategize, it's all random, it's impossible to do well, blah! I really did say those things, ask my wife, Laura. But once I understood the purpose of this little game, I grew to love it. As I mentioned, I've played it many times. Oftentimes, I'll do multiple sessions in one sitting, because you can't be relaxed when you're standing. It's kind of addictive, actually. Every time I do poorly, my only thought is, I can do this, I can be better, just one more play! And that's the beauty of the game, I think. Getting a score of 21 is very unlikely, so there should always be room for you to try and beat your score. And the game maybe takes 15, 20 minutes. It's perfect for, like, a lunchtime decompression at work, or a little soothing session before bedtime. But is it really relaxing? Well, it depends if you can set aside that urge to destroy all flowers who dare cross you. If you set your mind to it, I really do think this can provide you with a moment of zen. It's a pretty chill experience. But I'm no expert, so don't leave an angry comment when the game fails to relax you before your next court hearing. But that brings me to my next point. Who is this game for? Well, Gentle Rain is best played as a solo game, but you could play with others. But don't expect a very collaborative experience. You just take turns drawing and placing the tiles. As I mentioned, you've got to be able to step away from the super gamer approach of in-depth strategy. The suggested age range is 8 and up, but I could see kids as young as 6 playing it. The concepts are simple, but difficult to master. Although, younger players may find it boring. 
And if you're looking for a small, portable, laid-back, and chill game to play over and over again, this fits the bill. The following gamers should avoid a gentle rain. Players looking for a thematic, exciting, and immersive experience. You also won't enjoy it if you expect to have much control over the events in the game. A lot of times your success comes down to how the tiles are revealed. And finally, if you hate relaxing, you might hate a gentle rain. So it all comes down to, should you buy it? Well, let's take a look at your investment. As of the recording of this video, the only places to buy the game is through Mondo Games website and the Board Game Geek Geek Game Shop. And the cost is $22. This is a tricky one. Don't get me wrong, the production quality is great. You've got the nice wooden blossom tokens, the compact box, relaxing art, and textured tiles. But with it being so simple of a game, I'd find it hard to spend more than $20. If it were $15, it would be a no-brainer. Now, I don't want to diminish Kevin Wilson's or the artist Chris Bilheimer's work on this, so if you think about it from that point of view, of supporting some very talented people and getting a high-quality product, I say go for it. However, I understand if there's not quite enough game there for some of you to want to spend $22. Buy it or not, just depends on how committed you are to relaxing. I will say this, you could spend $22 on a game that you can play over and over again and share with others, or you could spend twice or thrice that on a single massage, facial, pedicure, round of golf, yoga session, etc. I'd go with a gentle rain. Although I could really use a massage right now. The board game media creation business can be really stressful. Just ask Tom Vassell. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. For more silly, lighthearted board game content, check out my channel, The Lighten Up Initiative. You'll find other reviews, sure, but you'll also see this musical parody featuring the voice of an angel. On my own, playing board games solo. Until next time, don't take the board game hobby too seriously, just lighten up.